If all goes according to plan, the East African Customs Management Bill will be debated in mid-October in the East African Parliament, with views being sought by partner states, lawmakers and the private sector, more time is being sought to understand the new amendments proposed by the Council of Ministers of the East African Community. There are certain contentious areas. For example, there are areas where the, 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 the revenue collecting agencies would like to exercise discretion. Um, and there are also areas where the traders you know, feel that um, there is too much discretionary powers that has been given and has been abused. For example, it is not uncommon for used car importers to present invoices for purposes of paying tax and the taxman disputes the invoice's value. If I, if I purchase a vehicle from a certain country X, they have given me this value. You are as the, 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 the authority of saying that that is not the transactional price. While the practice was not part of the act, it is now being added. The penalty for presenting the wrong documentation is also proposed to raise from 10,000 US dollars to 20,000 US dollars or 50% of the value of the goods to be more deterrent. In 2004 to date, we have been using the Customs Management Act. As you know, that's a long time. And um, there has been a change. There has been a change in context, there has been a change in practice, there has been a change in our business environment. These amendments are meant to ensure that there is efficiency. Some of the other areas targeted by the amendments include rules on warehousing of goods, and allowing partner states to waiver taxes to address a crisis, for instance, food items or, like in the case of COVID, masks and gas cylinders.